Well, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only football great, the one and only Cam Newton, had a run-in with a young teenager. The initial video that was released showed a teenager heckling Cam Newton and the teenager using the words, that's why you a free agent. You a free agent. Then you can hear Cam Newton scream back to the kid, yeah, but I'm rich. And the kid's like, yeah, but you about to be poor. Egging Cam Newton on. Then Cam Newton slows down and says, listen, where's your father? Let me talk to your father. Um, Cam Newton has since released a statement saying talking to any child with anybody looking does me no good. So let me backtrack and tell everybody what happened. Cam Newton puts on a seven on seven football camp and seven on seven is what they play in the off season. Nina, basically it's a skilled player game with mm-hmm. just a quarterback and six receivers and they play on a very short field and it's like a flag flag football. Right. And Cam Newton throws this tournament, but not only does he throw this tournament and get all these kids to come all over from the country, he also coaches a team. And there was this exchange between Cam Newton and then this kid. Some people are saying the kid was very disrespectful. You should never disrespect the elder like that. You know, some people are saying, well, you know, if Cam Newton said the wrong thing, then that's what happens. Um, so there's been a lot of back and forth as to what really happened. I do want to play one clip uh, from another vantage point that happened after the initial exchange between Cam Newton and the kid. Take a listen to this. You ask, you're a free agent. You're a free agent. I'm rich. You're a free agent. I'm rich. You're about to be poor. I'm rich. You're about to be poor. I'm rich. You're about to be poor. I'm rich. You're a free agent. I'm rich. You're a free agent. I'm rich. He's a free agent. Where's your daddy at? Let me talk to your dad. Let me talk to your dad. Where's your dad? You're a free agent. Where's your dad? You're a free agent. Talk to your dad. You're a free agent. You ask. Talk to your dad. Let me talk to your dad. Where's your pop? You ask. Where's your pop? He's asking my dad. Mmm. Some people thought it was very disrespectful, considering Cam yeah, Newton I mean, was paying for the camp and everything, and you yeah. know, very dis- disrespectful for a kid yeah. to, to do that. Yeah, I, I definitely think that like that kid was disrespectful in that moment. There's, I'm not disputing that at all, and kids should be respectful, but. I also believe that kids deserve respect, too. Like, you don't get to talk to kids any kind of way just because you're the quote-unquote adult. Like, you can't disrespect these young adults either. Like, it goes both ways. But that child in that moment was disrespectful. Mm, I disagree, Nina. I know you do. I, I disagree. And I know we talked about it, you know, earlier. I, I, I disagree because I think that um, really at the end of the day, Obviously, yes, Cam should not have said anything back to the kid. Like, why go down to that level? You know what I mean? Um, But at the same time, I think a lot of these kids are just disrespectful, man. They just, you know, they just don't understand. He, you know, his mouth take. There's so many skilled athletes in our community that never get a chance because they just can't deal with with that. You know what I mean? They can't hold their tongue. When it's time for you to hold your tongue and anybody who's ever been in sports or anything like that, know that it comes with the territory. Coaches will yell at you and scream at you and everything else and consider, you know, disrespecting you. What, what kind of play was that? And and, and football sit, is sit not the end down. all. You know football what I mean? Football is not and, the it, end all. Be- Football is not the end all be all. Like we're not, we don't it, have it, kids it, just so they can be professional football players. We're raising kids to 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 grow up to be like emotionally intelligent, respectful, well balanced kids. And if they don't yeah. play football, then they'll be okay. No, I'm not even That's saying fine. that. What I'm what, I, what I'm what I'm saying is, it's part of the territory of understanding that you not, you gonna be talked to sometimes in the wrong way, and you just gotta hold your tongue. You just can't yeah, be and look at some of the football players. Look Nina, at how some you, of these football Nina, players. Nina, 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 you and I used to work for somebody who used to pop off at the mouth sometimes. And how many times we want to turn around and tell that boss to kiss our behind? But we didn't. We didn't because we're okay, grown and we understand not okay. it's not worth it. it. I didn't say it was okay, but you didn't say nothing back to him, and neither did I. Why? Okay, because as adults, we know we learn that we have to sometimes. If we feel that somebody is talking to us the wrong way, sometimes we got to take it. And that's just the way the world is. 
Yeah, two oh two. It's not okay when it's not okay. It's not see, okay. I, see, see, it's not okay. See? And I'm and I would. My son plays college football. He says to me all the time, "Mom, yes. some of those coaches." They talk to us disrespectfully, and the kids pop off back because it's not okay. You're talking to 20-year-old young men. You don't have the authority just to talk to them any kind of way because you you had a bad day or because you feel like, you know, that you have the authority to do that. You don't. These these are people who were – some of these kids mm. were raised right, and when you talk to them but, crazy, but, 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 but it don't sit you, right with them. But, but does he tell you with the same amount of energy how much the other kids on the other team talk trash to him? I already know they do. But I already he doesn't know they say do, that but it's to different. you. Be- it's not different. It's the it same is. thing. It is. When these are the okay. these are the these are the mentors, the leaders talking to the kids like that. It's one thing when you're oh. on the same level talking to each other like that. But if you're supposed to be okay. the leader and the mentor and the quote unquote adult, then don't talk to these kids any kind of way. Have some respect for them too. Okay. All right. There it is. We're taking your calls, 202-432-WHUR. <laughs> That's the mama that gets involved, Herb. That's the mama that gets involved. That's the mama where the coaches be like, I don't want that kid on my team. Not with that mama. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Let's go, Herb. <laughs> 96.3WHUR, old school, 90s, and now the Frank Ski Show with Nina Brown. And we are talking about Cam Newton, ladies and gentlemen. Cam Newton had uh, held his football camp. He does a seven-on-seven football tournament and camp. He also coaches one of the teams. He's one of the few players that puts his money where his mouth is and gives back to these kids. So there's a team from out of town playing at the camp, and some words are exchanged, and the kid is telling Cam Newton, that's why you're a free agent. And Cam Newton says, look, I'm rich. And he says, yeah, but you're about to be poor because you're a free agent. (laughs) Basically insulting Cam Newton. So after it all went down and it got on video, um, at the end of the day, Cam Newton went over the kid and went over to the kid and tried to talk to him. And here's some of the back and forth between Cam Newton and the child. Listen. Please don't be one dimensional. Like, like you said something to me, then I go, I'm really trying to talk to you. I'm not trying to like crack no jokes. I'm just really trying to ask a simple question. I'm so, I, it's, it's your fault why everybody's looking, but I'm really just trying to ask a question. But you never said what you did. You said you're going to see. At the end of the day, right? No, coach, coach, it's no disrespect. I promise you it's no disrespect. I get that. I get that. Coach, we squashed it. We get I was literally, I was I love that. I love that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to break the monotony. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just trying to talk to him. He think I'm trying to put him to him. Mm. And the kid so was like, I already showed you. I already said. I already showed you. Yeah. What'd you say? I said, I'm glad Cam went over there and actually talked to him. But that's the point. Like, some of these kids, in a perfect world, y'all, all kids would be respectful. But the truth is, is that we have irresponsible parents having children that they shouldn't, you know, that they're not raising. And it takes a village. So sometimes you got to pull up on a kid and say, let me talk to you. And let me have a real conversation with you. It's not about embarrassing him. Talk to him. You'll get so much further. Nina. You such a kumbaya mom. No, I just believe in kids, bro. I believe in kids I know, more than adults. I got adults. it, but, but at the same time, at the same time, the problem is these kids got to learn that there's going to be times where they're not going to be talked to correctly. They're going to be disrespected. A teacher is going to say something or disrespect you. Who's you know, somebody else is going to say something or disrespect aren't. you. Say that again. Who's going to teach? Who's going to teach them if their parents are? They don't have they, they households have, like they you have, and I. They have to learn to control their emotions. Listen, at the end of the day, they got to con- You know, can I can I say something to you? And I'm just going to say sure. this real quick and Herb can follow me. You know the organization that does this the best? The uh, military. Yes. And they break them kids down, they insult them, they in their face, they talk smack to them, they insult them to their lowest of lowest of lowest core, and they are not allowed to say nothing back, because that is true discipline. The discipline is keep your mouth shut, no matter what's going on, and at the end of the day, you're more focused and you're not distracted by everything else. The difference between most of these players, college, pro, high school, or anything, is the ones that don't get distracted by all the emotion that's going on around. They got their mind on the game, and they know what they got to do, and they're not going to let nobody else distract them. And you shaking your head no. 
Yeah, because that's not it's not a blanket statement. Yeah, that might work for some, but that doesn't work for everybody else. I never had to speak to my kid like that for him to grow up to be the most respectful kid I've ever known. He's never had a problem. I never had to yell at him, call him out his name, break him down emotionally. No, I built him up. And actually, it mm. turned out pretty well. I know because so it you started doesn't work for everybody. Because, because you started when he was small. You ingrained exactly. in him when he was an infant. Some of these kids don't have it. And the only language they know is that language. And they have to they have to learn how to control their emotion. That's why these kids are killing each other over words. They're killing each other over words. They're killing each other over an Instagram post or a Twitter post. So you Let's think go to popping off on the kids after that is going to make them, like, change their lives? Not always, Frank. Sometimes if you hug Listen, a child, that they may actually change their lives and, and, more than and just popping what? off on them and, and trying and, to break and, them down and, emotionally. And, Nina, and guess what? That kid is going to be one of them superstar kids that's going to be home because ain't nobody going to want them. You don't know that. You're, I, I, Nina, Nina, the hood is full of kids like okay. that. And the maybe, hood is full of kids maybe, like that. They maybe, couldn't take no discipline. Maybe because Cam talked to him, he might change his life. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. 96.3 WHUR. Hello. Listen, um, Nina, I understand what you're talking about, girl. I understand because some of these coaches out here, I'm a, I was, um, when my kids were out there playing, man, I would jump in there and I understand. But at the end of the day, this kid here, he was he was just so disrespectful in his way. And what I think that Cam was saying was, where is your mother or your father so I can talk to them? And it sounded as though this guy was just this young, young man. He was so undisciplined. And one thing about sports is it's teaching you discipline. Mm-hmm. And no matter what somebody comes at you at, You've got to learn that that's how they're going to come at you out on the field. And I'm not talking about the field they're playing on, whether it's the court or the football field. I'm talking about the field of life. And you're going to have people that's popping off at you all the time. And the thing about sports is it's always teaching you about discipline, always teaching you about respect for the game and respect for the, uh, the players and the people. And so it's so much more than that than what we have heard. <laughs> right. Frank Ski. Yes, ma'am. Franksky, Al Payne, our boss, his frat yep. brothers are telling him yep. that my child can't pledge Kappa because That's of what right. I'm saying. I don't want my child to pledge Kappa no way. He can be an Alpha. He can be an Omega. He don't need to be a Kappa. So and there listen, you go, and, Kenneth. And, 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 and he not going to get pledged without getting talked to the wrong <laughs> way and disrespected and put online and getting dragged. And drag down the street. And ain't no mama like Nina going to come protect him either. I think he going to be a better man all for right. it. He going to be a better man for it. That's right. More <laughs> men need to be frat so they Good understand child. how to live life. Yes. Oh, Go please. through it. Go across the sands. Tamika from Northeast. Hey, Frankie. Hey, Nina. How are you? Hey, Tamika. I'm good, Mama. Nina, I'm going to have to go against you on this one. <laughs> okay. The little boy was very disrespectful. Now, what was disrespectful that Cam said? All he said was, I'm rich. <laughs> you responded to a teenager. You didn't even need to do that. He clearly wants to be heard. When kids lash out... They're lashing out for a reason. He could have immediately been like, you know what, let me pull you aside because you're in front of your peers and I understand everybody's trying to show up and let me talk to you. What's going on? Like, what makes you want to say that to me? And have a conversation with them. You you will get so much further if you actually respect these kids back and talk to them. That's a very small percentage of kids. But this generation, they're so disrespectful. They're very disrespectful. But I'm with you, Frank Key, on this one. Yeah, because their parents are disrespectful, too. These disrespectful parents having disrespectful children. This is true. There's more than one way to raise, like, these children. (laughs) I mean, like, we've never had to talk to our kids like that. Never. Mm. Mm. We're lucky, Nina. We're lucky. We're not lucky. We're blessed. Yeah, no, we're lucky, too. We're We're blessed. blessed. We're blessed. Not Mr. Inspiration of Vitamin. We are blessed. Amen. All right, somebody.